Hey, bro. Question for you. Okay. Like, what is the best guitar for metal? Well, that's kind of a broad question. I mean, is there a brand or shape? Well, it, it's a bit more complicated than that. How so? Oh, where do I start? So what is the best guitar for playing metal? I saw this argument the other day in the comment section of a TikTok video, and I suppose I should tell you all you really need to know, but let's dive deeper. The particular video was of a man unwrapping his dream guitar that his son and daughter-in-law got for him. It wasn't anything super special, just a Jackson Dinky, but it was probably special to him. Anyway, aside from the comments like, his dream guitar is a Jackson, um, there were all sorts of people arguing over what were the best guitars for playing metal, and most of the arguments were based around name brands, which is pretty stupid. So let's talk about that and finally decide, once and for all, what are the best guitars for metal. Is this guitar metal? What about this guitar? How about this one? And what about this one? So what makes a guitar metal, besides if it's actually made of metal? Is it the shape, maybe the brand, tuning? pickups, or is it more than any of those? Let's talk shape. The more extreme the guitar looks, the more metal they sound, right? Grandpa guitar like Telly's and Les Paul's aren't metal, are they? I think Jim Root, John Five, Zach Wilde, and Gary Holt would beg to differ. Sure, the shape of a guitar plays into the image of a guitar player and their band, but it really doesn't make a difference in their sound. Everybody know that. Goddamn, boy. But what about branding? Are there any specific brands that were created solely for metal guitar? Sure there are, but does that make them the best guitar for metal? No. You'll see a lot of metal bands of old and new using brands such as Jackson, ESP, BC Rich, Ibanez, Dean, Solar, and so on. Does that make those brands the best for metal? I think Matt Pike and Dave Mustaine would disagree. Duh! Let's not even dive into tuning part because metal can be in all sorts of tuning, so let's move on to pickups. Do pickups make a guitar more metal? Some may argue yes, and some may say no. You have to keep an open mind. Sure, humbuckers may be the preferred pickup of most metal players, but they aren't the be-all, end-all when it comes to tone. Different humbuckers have different winds, frequencies, and resistance, and that can tighten up the overall sound, but they aren't completely necessary. The same thing goes for single coils as far as winds, frequency, and resistance. And the quality of pickups can make a difference in your tone as well. But there are a bunch of budget-friendly pickups out there that sound great. Let's look at some different pickups and brands. This is a Seymour Duncan SH-13 Dimebucker. Is it the best for metal? It's built for metal and it's definitely up there with the best of them like the Invader, but that's not quite the point we're trying to make. Sure, you can drop it in a Strat and Telly and make the guitar sound more metal, but is it necessary? Take a look at my Telly with what appears to be single coils. It's not a very metal looking guitar, is it? But it chugs, and if I was a better player, it would shred too. However, these are not your average single coils. <laughs> These are noiseless, which means they're stacked humbuckers, so they have some of that humbucking attribute, which may give them a more metal tone, but you can also get twangy telly tones from these pickups too. But what about single coils? They aren't very metal now, are they? Sure, you can't get a metal sound out of a single coil, can you? Well, Richie Blackmore, George Lynch, and Yngwie Malmsteen would say differently. Now, I don't have any true single coil guitars anymore, so I've asked my friend Miguel over at Mod Scientist channel to help demonstrate a metal tone for single coils. The link to his channel is in the description, and he does a lot of great gear and mod demonstrations on his channel. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, this is Miguel with the uh, Mod Scientist channel on YouTube. Uh, pardon my voice. I, my allergies are bugging me a little bit today, so I'm a little stuffy, but... 
Anyway, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to come to you today and uh, and we can test a theory whether or not you can play uh, metal or uh, get a, a metal sound in, uh, in a strat with single coils in it. So this is the old trusty Mex Mexican strat. I've got some Wilkinson uh, high output single coils in it. And I'm going to be running through my new X Cerberus, uh, which is just a multi-effects unit. It's got uh, some... Uh, uh, some distortion, some uh, overdrive, uh, modulation, and delay. It's got, also got a reverb section. Um, all we're going to be using today is just the um, the reverb, a uh, little slight, little light reverb, and uh, we're going to use the overdrive and distortion channel. And we're going to build on those to kind of get us a uh, a rock tone, a uh, heavy rock tone, hopefully a metal tone, right? So just to test uh, whether or not uh, let's, we can see if we can get one with a single coil strap. Well, I think we could, but uh, some people say that you can't. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and dispel those myths today, okay? <laughs> All right, that's your straight up guitar, nothing on it. Let's add a little bit, little, uh, little bit of reverb. And let's see what that sounds like. All right, uh, that's uh, just some light reverb. Uh, I think I got the hall reverb right now. Very, very light. All right, let's go ahead and add some. Uh, let's add some uh, some distortion. So that was uh, overdrive. Oh, I'm sorry, the distortion channel with some reverb, uh, single coils. That sounds uh, pretty heavy already, right? So let's go ahead and cascade the overdrive. Uh, let's pretend we're uh, driving the front end of an amplifier with an overdrive pedal. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the overdrive into the front end of that distortion channel. Here we go. <laughs> As you guys can see, uh, that already gets pretty heavy. And this is just a standard standard tuned strat. It's not even uh, tuned down or anything like that. So, if I were to take this guitar and uh, you know drop it down to uh, drop D, or uh, you know E flat, or even lower, right? You'll get you'll get an even killer tone, right? But just a standard strat, that sounds pretty pretty killer, right? Pretty heavy already. Let's do that again. <laughs>
anyway, I uh, hope that helps somebody out uh, out there. Um, yeah, it sounds pretty killer. Um, this is like a, a the distortion channel in this in the new X server is is based off of a, uh, a Marshall JCM eight hundred or, or uh, what they're uh, simulating in the software when it, when you uh, when you plug it into a computer to uh, tweak all the settings is a JHS Angry Charlie, which is based off of a a, a JCM eight hundred type distortion, and the overdrive is a classic uh, uh, overdrive type circuit. All right. So, uh, hope that helps somebody else out there, and uh, talk to you guys soon. See ya. Thanks, Miguel. So the key to playing metal isn't which guitar or brand you use, and although they can play a role, it's not even in the pickups you use. You can play metal with just about any guitar, and it doesn't matter if it's a Warlock with humbuckers or a Strat with single coils. It's a culmination of things, and what you really need as a foundation for a decent metal tone is a good amp and effects pedals and processors. Then you can try to find the right guitar for the tone you want for the metal style you want to play. Sometimes it's a game of mix and match, and if you have a crappy amp, or pedals, it doesn't matter if you plug the most expensive guitar into it, it's gonna sound like crap. So what is the best guitar for metal? That's like asking which is the best car for racing. There is a lot more that goes into it, and the guitar is only a part of achieving a metal Tony desire, albeit still a very important component. There is no best guitar for metal. It's all subjective and a silly argument to begin with. Lastly, to really drive my point home, this is obviously an electric acoustic guitar with a piezo pickup. Is it very metal? By no means. Can I make it play metal? You tell me. So you get it now? Yeah, bro. I think I get it. Obviously Jackson or Ibanez. Since we're asking questions, why are you wearing sunglasses inside? And why are you like dressed exactly like me? Friggin' weirdo.